Hi, and welcome to the CandyAddict.com's video candy review. Today we've got two candies from ArchieMcPhee.com, both of them gummy products, and both of them kind of gross. We've got Gummy Haggis, and we have Gummy Tapeworm. Yum. We're going to start out with the Gummy Haggis. Uh, for those that don't know, haggis is a Scottish dish that consists of sheep's liver, heart, and lungs packed into a sheep stomach, and it's boiled for two hours, and it's eaten. Evidently, it's a delicacy in Scotland, not something I'd really want to try, but luckily, Archie McPhee has come out with gummy haggis, which is, as you'll note, butterscotch flavored. How can you resist, right? So we're going to try this today. It's uh, 3.53 ounces. You can find it at ArchieMcPhee.com. So let's uh, open this up and see what we got. It's a uh, lovely green color. It's wrapped up here. Let me, uh, let me open it up. It kind of reminds me of a bar of soap the way it's packed. So here it is. Got a slight, uh, slight butterscotch smell to it. It almost looks dirty. It's got uh, little bits of color on it. It's pretty heavy. So there's what it looks like. Doesn't exactly look appetizing. Of course, it is haggis, gummy haggis. So uh, we're gonna try it. it. Really doesn't smell that edible. Well, here goes, right? It's tough. It's not very good. It tastes, uh, tastes like eating plastic or rubber. It's really hard. I don't know if you can tell. And, uh, oh, no, it's not good. Yeah, I'd spit it out if I wasn't on camera. Ugh, yeah. It, it does have a little bit of a, a butterscotch flavor, but... Uh, that's bad. Oh, hold on. Water break. Okay. Ooh, yeah. Okay, so that's uh that's gummy haggis. There's the bite. Not sure um, not sure what the market is for that. It's, it's not me, I'll tell you that. Okay, so that was the gummy haggis. We also have this uh, lovely gummy tapeworm. It says 19 inches long, apple flavored gummy tapeworm. Has a few interesting gummy, uh, I'm sorry, not gummy tapeworm facts on the back. Tapeworms may become agitated and cause discomfort when exposed to techno music. I'm not real sure how they came up with that or how they did studies. Tapeworms generally prefer hamburgers over pizza and sushi over lasagna. Good to know. So let's try this uh, 19 inches of gummy tapeworm. I don't know if you can even see what I'm doing here. So here is here is the gummy tapeworm. It's got nice, uh, nice joints in it. It's see-through. Smells like plastic. Does not smell like. Doesn't smell edible. So, uh, do we eat the uh, head, the tail, or somewhere in the middle? I'm going to go for the tail. Good gummy texture. Tastes like plastic. Let's see if it gets better. Nope. It's a nice hard gummy. Like a gummy cola bottle. I don't taste any apple at all. Well, maybe just a little. Okay, it's getting better, but... It's definitely not, uh, not something you buy to eat. I guess it's more for a uh, novelty factor. Yeah, it's not good either. 
This is not from Archie McPhee. This is from a company called Brand New LLC. Brand New Products, I'm sorry. Brand New Products LLC. Fear Factor. I actually have a bunch of, uh, this is the Fear Factor Grimy Grubs that I believe just came out. They have a bunch of other Fear Factor products. We've written about them, talked about them on the site before. These are Grimy Grubs, clear grubs with gooey insides. I don't know if you can see that. That's what the package looks like. Looks like you get about, uh, I don't know, 10 in here. So, let's see, I saw a tear here on here. Tear here. here. Okay, and you get a nice little tray of seven, seven grubs. So it says they're clear grubs with gooey insides. So let's go with, uh, let's go with clear with a green inside. Got a good, uh, good gummy feel to it. A little sticky. Mm. A little, little, little aroma that, that smells edible. That's good. Better than the uh, other two. Hmm. Okay. Good soft texture. It says gooey inside, though. I don't know if you can see that, but there's no gooey insides. There's a little green coloring, but it is not gooey at all. Tastes okay. I would go out of my way to get it for a gummy. Let's try another one. Maybe I got a dud on the for the gooey, the gooeyness. This one looks like the color is just kind of stuck on the bottom. I don't know if you can see that, but it again doesn't look gooey. Mmm. Oh, that's much better. That's orange. That's a good orange. Again, though, no gooey. These are good-sized grubs, too. Can't believe I just said that. All right, we're going to try one more, see if we get any gooey. I'm really uh, really disappointed. I don't know if you can see the, uh, the label right here. Look at that grub. See the grub with the green stuff coming out of it? That's a gooey inside. These, no gooey inside. That's a... Uh, that's false advertising. So this one doesn't look gooey inside either. This one's a blue color on it. In it. You know, that's a kind of a blue raspberry or... I'm going with blue raspberry. Maybe blueberry, but... Those are... Those are kind of tasty. Seriously, though. No fear. Clear grubs with gooey insides. That's wrong. It does say super scary, super scary fruit flavors. I'm not sure where the scary comes in there. Now, if it was gooey, I've had something before called fun bugs. Those are gross. Those are bugs, gummy bugs, that when you bite them, you get a juice. This, oh, it's, it's gross. It really is. It makes you feel like you've just eaten a bug. Now, that's what I was expecting with this. So, let's do a quick recap. We got Gummy Haggis from ArchieMcPhee.com. Possibly good for a novelty factor, but uh, taste, no. We got your uh, Gummy Tapeworm, again from ArchieMcPhee.com. Hope you can see all that. Again, taste is very poor. I would not recommend eating that. And then we've got our uh, Fear Factor Grimy Grubs from Brand New Products LLC. Not bad tasting. False advertising with the uh, gooey insides, though. No gooey insides. All right, well, that's our first ever um, candy video review from candyaddict.com. So, till next time, thanks. My name is Brian, and signing off.